Russian President Vladimir Putin says he has authorized a special military operation in Ukraine's Donbass region. In an address on Russian TV, he said he doesn't plan to occupy Ukrainian territory and has called on Ukrainian soldiers to immediately lay down their arms. His announcement came as the United Nations Security Council held an emergency meeting, its second one this week. Well, our former chief foreign correspondent, Philip Williams, joins me now in the studio. So, Phil, what do you make of this uh, well, news? It's, conf it's confusing. The timing, obviously, as, as we're listening to the Security Council, uh, basically, randomly, apart from the Russians condemning uh, what uh, Moscow has been doing, uh, and uh, now we have President Putin appearing to uh, authorise a military operation in Ukraine's Donbass. Now, what does that actually mean? Does he mean uh, just the republics, so-called republics of Luhansk and Den Donetsk, which he has promised to defend? Or does he mean the expanded territory beyond that, which they claim, uh, and uh, presumably he would then support as part of their territorial ambitions? Uh, and when he says he's not going to occupy Ukraine, Ukraine. Well, what does he mean by that? He's already his troops are in Ukraine as, mm. as internationally recognised. So again, it's a bit uh, it's a bit opaque, uh, but it does seem uh, quite a, an intent of aggression. It does seem rather ominous, and you've got all of this information now and, and all this pressure coming from the West on Russia, mm. and this appears to be the answer to that. Uh, but again, we await to see what's happening on the ground. Now, now Casey Briggs has uh, been uh, tracing uh, the traffic uh, and uh, he's telling me that the traffic from uh, the, on, on the border of Russia and the Donbass area is uh, at a standstill pretty well because, presumably, uh, because of uh, Russian uh, arms and machinery going into that area or, or perhaps refugees coming out or potential refugees coming out. So. It's, it's a confused picture right now, but the signs, as it stands right at this moment, don't look good. Putin could say that uh, this move is in response to a request for military help. Absolutely. Uh, bro breakaway that, states. That's true. And they have made those requests well. You know, have they made them independently or are they asked, been asked to? It doesn't matter. Mm. Uh, the, uh, the, the Russian president is moving his troops in there. That's very, very clear. But the intent beyond that still isn't absolutely clear. Now, the Americans were saying just a short while ago there have been plenty of false flag events already uh, where we've had uh, explosions in the Luhansk area in particular, uh, an area controlled by the rebels, an area now, now supported by the, the Russians. Uh, is that uh, going to be pretext for ex pushing out the uh, Ukrainians further from that area, expanding the territory of those, those uh, two so-called republics? We don't know. But the fact that he's gone on television at, in very late at night in Moscow, uh, as the Security mm. Council is meeting and condemning what uh, he has been doing, is uh, by, certainly by no means coincidence. This could be seen, perhaps, as an intensification of the existing war that's been going on in those regions since 2014. At what point does it become this full-scale invasion that everybody's been um, condemning and, and warning about? Well, it may not actually evolve into that, a full-scale invasion. It may just be, in the end, uh, Russian forces nibbling at the edges of uh, these two so-called so -so republics. A and that may just be the extent of it. However, you know, you don't gather perhaps up to 190,000 troops uh, and your ships and your planes and all the weaponry that you have at your disposal uh, just, uh, just uh, for a picnic. You know, they're there for purpose. Mm. Now, that purpose may simply be pressure, uh, but it looks like it's going to be more than that. It looks like they're going to be put into action. And, of course, the obvious place now that he said he's authorised special military operation in Ukraine's Donbass why would he be saying that as a special announcement now? He's already said that they are going to be supporting that region. This is something else. This is something different. And we await to see what it actually means on the ground. Has the West, uh, US and its allies likely to respond? Well, they'll be uh, continuing their condemnation. Obviously, that word has not got through to uh, the uh, Security Council as we've been speaking. Uh, because that would have been mentioned otherwise, I'd imagine very shortly they will start to respond to that as that word uh, gets across. Um, but uh, clearly that's going to, to uh, up the pressure on the West and their rhetoric will uh, no doubt increase too because the whole message that we're getting uh, from the Security Council is stop, pull back, don't go this extra step. 
you know, we had um, the, the UN Secretary General saying, uh, send the troops home and, you know, give peace a chance. Well, it looks like peace has no chance at the moment uh, and we just wait to see where uh, perhaps that break point might be. And I suspect it will be in that Donbass region. Yeah. Phil, for now, thank you.